The eleventh question says that the slope of a line is double of the slope of another line. Okay, slope from one of the line is double the slope of another line. If tangent of the angle between them is one by three, find the slopes of the lines. Pretty interesting. A concept which you have just discussed has come back again in front of us. So what will we do in this case? So angle between lines can be dealt with very easily. Angle between lines is given by tan theta equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 and its modulus, right? So angle between the lines will be theta and 180 degree minus theta. Okay, the slope of a line is double the slope of another line. So it is given that m1 slope of one line is double the slope of other line that's what is given right if the tangent of the angle between them is 1 by 3 and it is given that tan theta is equal to 1 by 3 find the slopes of the line m1 comma m2 are unknown can you find m1 and m2 that's the question find the slopes of the lines right how will we do that we'll apply this formula and see where does that take us so we have m1 which is 2m2 so 2m2 minus m2 upon 1 plus 2m2 times m2 this is m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 this modulus is equal to tan theta okay and this tan theta is further equal to 1 by 3 okay if you remove the modulus what you get is plus or minus 1 by 3 over there so i'll solve 2m2 let's simplify this for first this becomes m2 upon 1 plus 2m2 square is equal to 1 by 3 or the same expression m2 upon 1 plus 2m2 square is equal to minus 1 by 3 okay and let's solve these two parts separately this gives me 3m2 will be equal to 1 plus 2m2 square or this tells me 2m2 square minus 3m2 plus 1 is equal to 0. Using concepts of quadratic or simple factorization, you see that uh, 2 minus 3 plus 1 is 0, right? So substituting m2 is equal to 1 will give me a 0. m2 is equal to 1 is a solution. And the other solution can be found by using c by a. The product is c by a. So 1 by 2 into this. The other value will be this. So, you can also observe that this condition is being satisfied. M2 is equal to 1 or 1 by 2. Are we getting two values over here? Yes, these are the two values that we are getting over here. Let's try to find values over here as well and see where does that take us. So, this becomes 3M2 is equal to minus 1 minus 2M2 square. And this tells me that 2M2 square plus 3M2 plus 1 is equal to 0. One of the values that you can clearly observe will be minus 1. Can you observe 2 minus 3 plus 1 is 0. This is minus 1. And the other value will be minus 1 by 2. So for M M2, you are getting 4 possible values. That's pretty interesting. For M2, you are getting two 4 possible values. And if M2 is equal to these 4 possible values, then M1 correspondingly will be equal to double of this. If this is 1, this becomes 2. This is half, this becomes 1. This is minus 1, this becomes double, that is minus 2, this becomes minus 1. Can we also check these values? Because it seems so that, okay, these may be the values of M1 and M2 also. So, let's see, let's see. If M2 is equal to 1, first find M1. Therefore, M1 is equal to 2, 1, or either here also M1 will be equal to minus 2, minus 1. Right. So the pair of values for M1 and M2, M1 comma M2 will be equal to what? This will be equal to 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 1 by 2. These are the possibilities, but we'll have to check whether these all of these possibilities are correct or not. Let's check. This is minus 2 comma minus 1 and then you have minus 1 comma minus 1 by 2. We'll check. We'll check first. Let's pick up this 2 comma 1. Let's check. Getting many answers. Let's check. For 2 comma 1, this becomes 2 minus 1, which is 1 upon 1 plus 2. Okay. 1 upon 3. That seems okay. 1 upon 3. That's tan theta. This seems okay. Let's check for 1 and 1 by 2. This becomes 1 minus 1 by 2, which is 1 by 2. And this becomes 1 plus 1 by 2, which is 3 by 2. 1 by 2 upon 3 by 2 is once again 1 by 3. This seems okay. 
and uh, okay, you'll get extra minuses and this also looks okay because you'll at max have a negative in the numerator. In the denominator, you'll have the same thing and that negative will be taken care of by that modulus. So, this also seems okay. And yes, at the end of the day, you get four possible pairs for M1 and M2, M1 comma M2, you get four possible ordered pairs. And yes, this is my answer for this question over here. That's a complete answer. Yes, that's a complete solution. And the final answer for this question, as you can see behind me.